Lucas Bravo Jr., Remigius Lien Donato, Yoterio Alfredo Comercindo Venancia Angel Frances, Abilina Sr., Dennis Antonia Romeo Sr., Consuelo Banjo Esteban, Ramona Abdon, Aladin Clara Julian, Paz Jody, Herodina Corazon, Roel Corazon Sita, and for all souls in purgatory. Please all rise for the Orasu Imperata for protection against the COVID-19 virus. Let us all remember that we are in God's most holy presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now, to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death restore our hope and strengthen our faith we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission we thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country we pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Berhen Sakuta. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the 21st Sunday in ordinary time of the liturgical calendar of the Church. At the close of the discourse of the bread of life, Jesus confronts his listeners, the people, and his disciples to make a choice. Either they believed him and asked him for this bread, or they reject his claim as preposterous. Like Jesus, Joshua in the first reading inquires into our response. Shall we serve God or not? We cannot be content with merely drifting through life. We have to make difficult choices. When it comes to our relationship with God, faith becomes most vital and compelling when we feel we are most hopeless or helpless the lord god invites us to faithfully receive him in this 21st sunday in the ordinary time our eucharistic mass will be presided by our most reverend archbishop martin s muad didi together with reverend father isagani husul please all rise for our entrance scene
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Highest. Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve. The gods your fathers served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose country you are dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord, for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord, our God, who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of the state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey. And among the peoples through whom we passed, therefore we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord.
just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the broken hearted, then those who are crushed in spirit. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church. He himself, the savior of the body, as the church is subordinate to Christ. So wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would, not, who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Amen. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. To Father Gani Husol, to each and everyone who are here, and those also watching in the FB and other forms of mass media. These words came from Peter, who recognized and trusted Jesus as the bread of life. Peter realized that there is more than we have here on earth. There is life beyond. And Peter saw in Jesus as having words of eternal life. Those who believe that there is no more life after this earthly life would seek to become popular, famous, having power, having wealth, and influence. But there is another line. In the first reading, Joshua told the people, Whom do you wish to serve? The gods of your fathers beyond the rivers or the gods of the Amorites? But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And the people responded, It was the Lord who brought us and our fathers out of the land of Egypt out of a state of slavery. He performed great miracles and protected us. Therefore, we will serve the Lord, for He is our God. Between idols and God, we have to choose. We have to decide. We have the freedom whom to serve. When Jesus saw some disciples abandon Him, He turned to the twelve and asked, Do you also want to live. To be a disciple of the Lord needs our decision. Kung gusto nyo kang mahimong disipulo, gusto kang musunod sa itong ginoo, kinanglan yun nga mo decide ka. It is voluntary, done out of freedom. But we can only decide if we have recognized Jesus and this leads to trust Him of His words. Then later, this calls for commitment. Kung mamahi mo dito ang disipulo, muagay na ini og tulo ka ang ang. Una, nga makaila ka sa atong ginoo. Ikaduha, musalig ka niya. O ikatulo, muhatag ka, mutahan ka sa imo nga kinabuhi nga dito sa ginoo. Recognition, then trust, then commitment. These are the ways in order that 
we will be able to say, Lord, my life, my life is for you. To offer oneself for Jesus. And this is what Peter did. He was always with Jesus. He recognized the Lord. He believed and he trusted Jesus' words. Thus, Peter entrusted his life to Jesus. We are always asked to choose between idols or the Lord. Idols would refer to fleeting pleasures, sex, power, money, and position. We are asked to choose between idols or Jesus. But we can only say, I am for Jesus if we have recognized him, if we trust Jesus, and later on, we are able to commit our life to Jesus. The marital problems between husband and wife can only be healed if you come to Jesus. Then you recognize that Jesus alone possesses words of eternal life. If you do not cling to Jesus and you prefer money, wealth, and honor to solve your marital problems, eventually your relationship disintegrates because idols are groundless and they cannot give full satisfaction. Mabito ng pirmigyo gumusulti, kanabitong ang asawag ba na magtrabaho ni Bisag Domingo and no more time for the Lord or husband and wife are not present in the family, mga absentee parents, then your children will be in this array. You prefer more on money. Oh, importante man sa may ipakaon. But if you focus your energy only on wealth and money and you do not take care of your children, then eventually you will you lost everything. Kay magunsa man kung kamo makaangkon sa tanan nga bahandi pero mabungkag ang inyong banay. Muna nga very important the presence of parents in the family. Importante kaayo. Kana bitaw mo sigil ng trabaho bisag Domingo nga wala nay panahon nga musimba, wala nay parahon nga magampo then luoy gyud kaayo ang inyong mga anak. Mao na nga it is really very important that you have time to be with your children. I can still remember my brother who died just last August 15. He was a teacher at the same time, a lawyer, but he has always time for his family. He will bring his family to church and he would enjoy being with his family. I could still remember Megan. Megan, one time, Mary Ann told me nga, Megan sang during the amateur hour and Manoy Max was very proud telling telling people nga, ako nang apo, ako nang apo. Ano bang close, close to his family, close to his mga apo. And this made me realize the importance, value of the presence of the parents in the family. I mention this because I know my, the members of the family are also watching our Mass today because actually I, I have offered Masses, nine Masses for Manoy Max, my brother. He died last August 15 and we started our, our Mass for the Dead last August 16 and we will end this on August 24. And I know Inday Lorna is watching and I would like to tell you that Manoy loved you very much. Manoy Max loved you very much, especially to his apo and to Megan. I, Mary Ann told me nga ni kanta de kunuka when you were still a child, bata pa kunuka, di na sa kinasangan nga piesta nag, nagdagan ang kining nobina niya doon ay amateur hour and then Manoy, Manoy Max was very proud telling his friends ako ng apo, ni kantarun mo kantang akong apo 
And then he was also very proud telling to to his sisters and to his sisters nga nas mi ganun dinot kay tingog no. I I I did not I only experienced it the other day when Megan sang the wind beneath the wings. The, the I I told this story because of the value of the presence of the of the parents in the family. No to absentee parents. Tinood importante ang bahandi. Tinood importante nga na ay sapi pero what does it profit to a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? Kay maski ang iyang mga anak, dili na unya niya mapugnan tungod kay pirmi man siyang layo. That is why I say, money, money. Napindir ba si Pacquiao? Really, money, Pacquiao. I am talking here of money, wealth. They are idols and they will bring us to destruction if our energy will be focused only on money, on wealth. Earthly goods, power, wealth, etc. do not give assurance of lasting joy. Only Jesus possesses words of eternal life. Come to Jesus. Recognize Jesus as essential in our life. Trust Jesus and this leads, to, and this leads you to entrust your commitment of life to Him. In our government today, particularly as we have heard from COA, COA informed us that DOH has billions of money which are not properly used. Luoy kaayo ang mga nurses. Luoy kaayo, labinagyod ang mga hospital sa mga rural areas. And to think, that most rural areas hospitals have not received what is due from the from from the government ako kasulti ko ana kay gikan ko kog basilan nya do na mi catholic nga hospital nya luoy gud kaayo kay nagsali ra man tawo na sa kining mga kanang field health ug uban pa ang uban gong hospital pod mga tikasan pod magbinuang mga good mao na nga madugay pod ang field health but I am talking here of honest hospitals who depend on pill health. Ah, there is na lang tasa DOH nga kinitong plato sixty billion pesos nga wala matarong o hatag unya luoy kayo ang mga mga nurses wala mang galit na tigali amay na lang day dere gipagisultian ko because I mentioned this topic this morning ginam dayko nga Uy, Bishop, ang sa City Hall din sa Osami City, nang hatag ba ang gobyerno, ang City Hall, o 4,500? Hindi ka, o di ba? Para kuno sa mga barangay health workers, natagan ka, Andilo? Ang <laughs> oh, mutingo si Andilo. Kung ang bang mga nurses din sa Mars, and they are always given enough, I know, because kung atong ikumparar yun, atong ikumparar ba, Kini bitang basta government hospitals murag tiwasin hospital pero dinhi sa Mars okay okay ang Mars pero dinha sa kining Oroquita kining provincial hospital basta pa ital stay ra gyud oy so jud kay stanan mo na nga ingo nga basta gobyerno galing hospital tiwasin hospital mo adto ka dito bring your own gilid pa basta pa ita kay kun do na kay ko anon so jud kay stanan you can you can bring my name if you want, nga, kining ang government hospitals, labi na din na sa kining Orokita, is a Tiwasin hospital. Walay, walay tambal, wala man. Lisod man. One time, I brought a patient sa, in Basilan, I brought a patient sa kining, kining hospital dito, nga public. Sila pa yung nakuyawan. Praon sa man eh. Oh, hospital man mo. Isa, kanang, di, 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 mi mudawat. Oh, di, di, mo mudawat. Kung saan man mo din eh. Parasitamol na nilang ipanghatag. Nga wala pag yung parasitamol. Nagaan pag yung kaong kining resita. Buy your own parasitamol. Pastilan. Loo yun yung mga, I hope, nga nag-approve pag yung universal health care. Ang butog na abag yung ikuan. Lisura yun yung gobyerno yun. I mentioned this. If there is, if 
there is corruption in DOH, notice ha, I use the word if, then this only proves that money can never satisfy our needs. We crave, we ask for more. Tungod kay, di mong yun makasatisfy ani. Ang mga opon ng DSWD, no? Ang DSWD, maglisod po, ugda ka ng kanang ipanghatag unta sa mga tao, daghan mo kayong reklamo sa una ba? Kaling DSWD, ambot ka ron, kikapuyan natin, reklamo ang mga tao, kay maglisod mang DSWD, maglisod, labang dili ba maayo ba? Maupon gihapon, ang department, kaling education, DepEd, nagya po yung mga binuang, naunsa naman taan ni Presidente Rodrigo Duterte, naglisod naman hinuuning atong gobyerno, but I still trust on the President Tungod po sa iyang kining nasa political win. Pero maula gini, kung nang naa sa, naa sa agency, naa sa itong danan, dili magtinarong, na wag yun tayo kaugmaon ani. Muna nga, kining kung naa mo sa DOH, ay mukasuko ha. Sulti lang ning ako, I am just telling you the truth. Because this is the findings of the COA. If you are in the DSWD, I am just telling the truth. Nya na kay BIR nga di plan to tax the the private schools 25% daw sa income ang kanang Ateneo you tax kining Lasal you tax kining Santo Tomas you tax kining San Carlos in Cebu you tax then kining University of San Jose Recoletos in Cebu you tax kanang dagko nga mga eskwelahan in the urban areas they can be taxed pero at to ka sa kining Bato Plaridel nga kining St. Patrick High School o Bato Plaridel Catholic school na ha agasang kiig mong ganyan nakipila rin may estudyante almost 300 niya ay musulduan ni mong maestra dako pa ang sweldo sa gumero sa basilan kay kasabot mo gumero kana bang magsaha ba o kining guma kana kana bang ayaw to ba man din sa kining sa guma dito sa basilan tawag mo na gumero Dago pa sila ang sweldo kaysa teacher. Di gumero, I am not demeaning di gumeros, pero wala mo sila mga eskwela, pero mga teacher in town, ng eskwela, four-year course. Inana, niya, sulduan lang tao ni mo, 5,000, 6,000, mga kalag sa purgatorio. Niya, ang mga gumero, I am not demeaning the gumero, pero dago pa sila ang income. Ngunit pag-aing nun nga, kanto nung naghimo nung mga thesis, nagbuhat pag mga mga Nagdugay kay mag-submit in town kay mag-school lang yun. Dagko nung kayo, dagmay na nagsweldo. Kini nung magkuan-kuan lang, dagko na nagsweldo. Naniuwan naman noon, ato nang human noon. <laughs> Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Let us discipline ourselves. Let us pray more. Let us come to Jesus that He may strengthen us to resist temptations that this world offers. Let us focus our gaze on Jesus, for He alone can give us eternal life. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the Scriptures, He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us place our trust in the Father who is 
ever faithful to his people in need. May he look upon us with kindness. And for every petition we say, Lord, show us your kindness. Lord, show us your kindness. May our church leaders remain in their call to humility and service. May they live in Christ's truth and help unbelievers to seek God's will. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May our political and civil leaders always opt for what is right and just, and not succumb to the temptations of power, influence, and financial gain. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May all people find secure hope in the words of Jesus, the words of eternal life, as we go through this pressing time of crisis. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May the Lord grant help to the needs of our sick brethren, especially those who suffer in any way because of the pandemic. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. May our beloved dead see the hope of eternal life in the promise of Jesus, of Jesus' resurrection. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, show us your kindness. Father in heaven, your kindness and love surpass all our expectations. Hear our prayers and make us sharers in the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, who are good and the good of all His holy children. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering, cancelled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Martin, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Maximo Humuad, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, nourished by the sacraments, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Behold the hand, behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Makagagahom nga Diyos, Lumingin mga anak, Nangalipay ka ng iyaman kami, Ubos sa panalipot sa labing ulahan ng Perdit Maria, Ang among pinaga ng Perdit Sakuna, Itugod ka bumigat sa iyang pangamuyo, Makamatun kami sa kanunay kayuhan sa lawas o kala, Maaga kami natas sa mga kasakit ni itinabuhi, Kung sa among mga pagpanaw, Mahalikay kami sa tanang katalagman, Hindi ang ipangayo, pinaagin ni Kristo, amung ginoo, amen. Pag-ampo kang San Miguel Arcangel. San Miguel Arcangel, tabangi kami sa pangkubatan. Panalit din kami matok sa mga panlibo o pagsulay sa iyawa. Mabawsan ang kaming nagahangyo at kanimo. O prinsipi sa mga kasudaluhan sa langit. Na pinaagi sa gamok sa Diyos. Ibong ibanlod sa Epierno si Satanas. Uban sa iyang kautang mga espiritu na naglibot-libot sa kalibutan at rumpagpukan sa among mga kalag. Amen. To each and everyone, thank you to Father Ganing Husol, the Rector of St. Mary's Theologate in Gangno, Uzami City, to the Extraordinary Ministers of Holy Communion, to Sister Hazel, to the choir, to the, to the one in the organ, Mr. Ronel Humuad, And to each and every one, to the, to the altar servers, to the Marian servers, ninyong tanan, salamat. At ang papakan ng ginoo, o ang mahal na Virgin Maria, ang Virgin Sakuta. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Please answer, Amen. May the God of all consolation, order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May God free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love Amen. so that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Again, atong daigo ng ginoo, o ang mahal ng Birgen Maria, ang Birgen Sakuta. Salamat, tanan. Since we can see in our heart and give him praise, and give him praise. Come into his presence, you can see in your heart, your voice is praise, your voice is praise. In glory and honor and power. Your voice is